So I uh, just wanted to do a quick video um, update review for um, my sneaker collection. Um, I recently picked up a few pairs that I haven't shown in videos. Um, as far as like the sneaker um, collection and um, sneaker releases for this month of May, it's kind of been um, rough, kind of bumpy. Um, I haven't uh, been getting any um, shoes that I expected to come out that we're going to release. Um, I was uh, hoping for the Galaxy Foam Posits um, this summer, but they postponed that and they pushed it um, back for the release. So it's going to come out next year. Um, so that was like one major shoe I was hoping to pick up that I didn't get. So I kind of um, just been um, looking for some stuff that I need and then uh, trying to get um, a little bit ahead of um, the collection but I did come across a couple of pairs um, and then I have um, two pairs that I'm trying to pick up um, this week coming up um, one pair is a pair of dunks uh, the joker dunks and the other pair is um, a Nike GT um, Zoom Wimbenyama um, basketball shoe that has um, the Paranorman um, theme with it. So I'm trying to pick those two up. And then the Futura um, in May, the end of May, Futura Dunk. And then the J Balvin Jordan 3 is another pickup I'm trying to get. Um, as far as shoes that I can chase, um, the Kobe Reverse Grinch and the Jordan 1 Lost and Found are kind of like on my tier list. But if um, I pick up anything, it's going to be the shoes that I mentioned that are coming out. Um, so I just wanted to do a video, um, cause I had time, um, update. Um, and then if you do watch my videos or if you see any of my videos or channels, um, I did a video on a bonus about a fixie bike. So, um, I posted one today. Um, I posted, I was trying to post a video of all the detail and what kind of bike it is. But YouTube um, did not post it. So I guess I could do another one today because I have time. But for now, let's just get into my update on my sneaker um, collection. And um, some of the pairs you might have seen, but some of the pairs you haven't seen. And I'll just try to give you like full detail. Um, a little bit of history of some of the shoes. Um, so people that are viewing can know like what um the deal is with this collection so um the collection is kind of um not very large um just for the fact that i'm not trying to get every shoe i'm just collecting rare shoes and i'll explain how um these shoes are rare so um this first shoe it was um a nike id um option they gave you to put um different materials um on the shoe the dunk for their nike ids um and like uh, it gave you the option to put different um lettering on the tongue um tag for the shoe so um during the time this came out um it was just um an ID with, um, I believe this is, um, crocodile leather suede or crocodile suede. Um, 
and then uh, I think it's like tiger or or a zebra, zebra or tiger um, pattern. So um, that was like one of the options. Um, so at the time this shoe came out, I kind of didn't really care too much for it. Um, I just was going to pass. I didn't see no big deal about having a dunk with just different material. It was nothing special to me. So um, during the time they took this um, ID option off, um, I seen some Instagram um, clips or reels of people wearing um, these dunks with this material, this like um, special material. So I thought they were kind of like fresh just to kind of have. So then I was like looking into like, maybe making one. Um, but at the time there was no um, ID with that option. So um, I am a Nike member. Um, and then at the time um, they sent me an email um, saying if I wanted to create a dunk um, with the material that they had for the ID option. And I kind of was like debating if I should do it. Um, and, uh, during this time I just kind of was like 50, 50. Um, but I just went on the website one day and I clicked on, um, a message and I started to, um, do a survey if, um, I liked um, this option or or this option was something I didn't like. Well, anyways, I happened to start to um, click on the message um, in my um, membership email and then it just popped up as a shoe customizing. So I started to just do the shoe um, and then um, I ordered it and um, during the time I ordered it, the day before or the same day, um, it showed on Nike Sneaker News, um, create your own Nike Dunk with the ID. So um, I already had mine made and it was coming in the mail. So the shoe, I kind of just based it off of um, the What the Dunk, um, the Spider-Man, Spider-Verse Dunk, um, the Galaxy Dunk. Um, the Jordan Dunk, the Premium Dunk, um, the Prowler Dunk, or the Prowler Jordan that came out, um, and then, uh, the Lobster Dunk colorway, and then, um, the Undefeated, um, color scheme or color blocking. So a little bit of detail on the shoe, um, I started with the Black Toe. Uh, Jordan 1, or the Jordan 1, AJ1 black toe with the red and the black um, color blocking. And then I um, put options of a uh, suede crocodile and then uh, just the leather for the Jordan 1. Um, and then uh, I did like a blue for the Tiffany, Tiffany dunk and the UNC dunk. Um, for the toe box and then um i did this like a uh, zebra a material for the jordan one um chicago and then the red for the chicago obviously and then i did uh some gray for the premium dunk and um crocodile suede and then i did white for the aj4 premium dunk and crocodile suede and then uh i did blue for the galaxy um, Jordan 1s, um, and then, uh, I did a little bit of light purple for, like, the Spider-Man, Spider-Verse Wave, um, Jordans that were coming out in Dunks, and then I did, like, uh, pink, um, I believe this is, like, Tiger or something, Cheetah, for the Premium Dunk, and then, uh, the Triple Pink Dunk, and then I just did, like, the basic, uh, green, um, Olive for the undefeated for the laces. Um, and then uh, they let you customize, like I said, uh, the tag. So I just put Supreme. Um, and then for the um, rubber gum or the outsole, I did like a solid black for the lobsters, the black lobsters. And then on the bottom, I did like a translucent, transparency purple 
for uh, the Prowler Jordan that released. Um, and then the shoe just came out like pretty clean, um, almost like a a what the um, color color blocking. And then they give you like options for debris for the shoelace. So I just did gold, uh, gold. Um, so yeah, that's basically the shoe. Um, this is almost kind of like a unicorn, I would say, I guess. So what makes these rare is like, um, this was just like a shoe that you couldn't really make at the time. So somehow I got a, I got a chance to make one and then it came out as um, a create the what the ID, but um, yeah, very rare. So I was kind of into those dunks um, for a while and the IDs. But a lot of them I missed, but I somehow managed to get them. Um, so the next shoe I'll do like a another video, because um, I have to do like certain amount of time on these videos. So the next one I'll go on a new video. So these videos would be like in parts if you watch.